Hey guys, what up? It's Mike. It's Dan. What are you doing that's making you less attractive? This is kind of like the reverse, right? Before, you might have read stuff about, here's things you could do to make yourself more attractive. Well, Mike and I are gonna give you the opposite. We're gonna basically tell you the things you're doing that are making you less attractive, so don't do them. According to science, not according to us. This is scientific studies. Right. This is proven. Here we go. <laughs> so, according to the site IFL Science, number one thing that you might be doing to make yourself less attractive, which I do all the time, yep. is sleep deprivation. So, basically, are you like, you're like number one in that, because you deprive yourself of sleep. I don't sleep. I'm yeah. like, you guys, you guys can probably tell I got like baggies in my eye. People always say in my videos, they're like, you look tired. You look tired. I just want to say, yeah. first of all, uh, I have I have a scar right here. Which, which is right is there, it? right there. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a scar right here that kind yeah. of gives me the appearance of permanent eye bags. It's true, man. If yeah. you guys don't know this, but if you look at Mike closely, right here, yo, it even arches. That you literally have an eye bag scar. Yeah, it's not from eye bag. No, but it's uncanny right now. So it's it's 13 stitches I got when I was young, and I was running with like a metal object, and I just tried to jump over a little fence, and I. Felt and impaled myself on it. Oh yeah, that grossed a lot of you guys out right now, huh? <laughs> almost missed my, almost got my eyeball. Like, yeah. Because if you look at your left eye and your right eye, yeah, it's night and day. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, so I can't do anything about it. Big scar, bad Chinese surgeon. So, but I, I totally agree with that. You know, like people don't, people don't realize how. We're not even talking about sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation is like very, like one to two hours a night. Okay. Even if you get like, let's say less than six hours. You know, a lot of people recommend eight, whatever for an adult. I would say like, if you're an adult, I would say minimum six hours and you feel all right. But if you get less than that, then yeah, every day it builds up. You start getting like, you know, bags under your eyes and just your overall attitude, you're, you're less um, responsive and all that stuff. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, that could make you less attractive. And you're probably gonna be more grouchy. Yes. Which brings us to the second point. Number two, you are less attractive if you appear more mean. That's or if, right. Or if you are mean. What? Well, that's the thing, right? Like people who are mean, who yeah. are not nice, they, it's like, it's like that thing, right? Where, you, where you're dating someone, you're like, right. hey, they look really beautiful in the beginning, but I got to know their personality and they're just like, they're just not good. Yeah, I feel like inherently over the course of my life, I'm not one of those guys that are attracted to women who are mean. And I know a lot of guys who, who is? Are. No, a lot of guys, like have fans said, of mean girls yeah like i like they a lot of people i'm not just not just girls and boys but they kind of like the other person if they treat them badly you've heard that before right well no no okay whoa, whoa, whoa. i think that's more the case for girls if a girl is mean no, or if a guy is mean. if a guy's oh mean, yeah, yeah, yeah right yeah, definitely because definitely. there's actually a chinese saying mm -hmm. called which literally means what? if the guy is not bad, girls will not love him. Yeah, I never heard of that. You never heard of that? That's a saying. You just made that up? No, I didn't make that up. That's, that's, a, right. that's a real saying. Right. Somebody told me that when I was little. What? So you could be mean? No, I mean, I would have gotten more attention from the ladies because I was such a nice guy. Mean? If I was mean, girls would like me more. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Well, according to that, that ridiculous saying, but that's yeah. not, that that's shouldn't not be true, true, right? That is not but, true. But you heard about this, like, okay, guys always say, what? What do girls always go for the mean guys? That's the what bad I'm saying. Guys? I always hear that, but actually on the other way, I was saying when I, when I was little, I was never attracted to mean girls. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't Nobody be. should be attracted to mean people. Right? That just doesn't make any sense. Yo, the nicer the girl when I was little, I'd be like, oh, and she might not be that attractive. I'm not saying there's a correlation. Yeah, no, I'm no, just no, saying, no. Like, of course. I like that. I, I remember I dated a girl who was really beautiful, mm -hmm. really, you know, you knew her. She was really beautiful, yeah. but she just, she just wasn't nice. She was mean. And it was just like, got to the point where I'm just like, why am I, why am I doing this? Yeah, don't do it guys, don't do it guys. And of course there's a study, we'll, we'll post the link so you guys can see like the scientific evidence yeah. behind it. Um, I like this next one. The third one is contradict, contractive, contractive body language. So yeah. body language is huge. You see things about how to make yourself more attractive with certain poses. Yeah. And they have this thing where the guys, uh, more, more for guys, like if there's certain power poses or whatever they seem more attractive, well, there's the opposite where there's body poses that you can do that will kind of make yourself less attractive. Right, so like, you heard about this. People who cross their arms when they talk to you, yeah. psychologists will say that, oh, they're, that means they're, uh, they're being 
like kind of like closed off, standoffish. Yeah, yeah. because they're, it's almost like because you you're close. A barrier yeah, between you and yeah. the other person. So maybe don't do that. I mean, like if I'm just doing this while you're talking, yeah, it's kind of like I'm I'm feeling uneasy for yeah, some reason. Yeah, right. And then or I'm like, where you're cold, or <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or I'm cold. Where you're hunch hunched over. Yeah. So all those things. Stand proud, people. Yes, exactly. Sh- shoulders high, you know. But, chest out, like no. But don't start, in, but don't pose. stand like this. Like you know those guys that come out of the gym and do like, Yo, hey, man. Those guys. Okay, I work out a lot. Right? <laughs> I work out a lot. I never wanted to get to the point where I'm like I can't put my arms down. Yo, oh, I want to always yeah. go up to those guys. Yeah, I want to do this. I want to go to their their arms. Yeah. I want to go. And see, you, if, oh, you, and see you, if you it want? goes back in the. See if it goes like. <laughs> Oh, it yeah, will. Release it and go. It will. It, it will literally fly back it's like into a that spring. I'm, you know, I gotta give you credit. I've yeah. never. You have big arms, man. Like yeah. in our videos, I feel like your arms look like they're three times bigger than my arms. No. Because I feel like the also the video makes it look. That's bigger. it. That's it looks look way bigger. bigger than my That's arm, it. man. And you have like veins popping out. It's kind of <laughs> gross. But I've never kind seen you. Gross. I've never. I mean, I've seen you do a lot of yeah. stuff at the gym. I'm not gonna repeat on camera. That are embarrassing, but I've never seen you walk out of the gym like, like because my arms can actually go down. Like, no, but I actually way. think guys do this on purpose. No, no, they literally cannot put their arms down. It's crazy. That's just like I don't know. I can't deal with that. Number four, stress. Yep, this is a big one, right? Stress literally has a physiological effect. Where for me, at least, not maybe not for you. The more stressed I am, the more breakouts I have on my face. Okay, I don't deal with that, but mm-hmm. I feel like people who are stressed, their expressions are more like intense. Okay. They're like always frowning. Yeah. So you walk around like, and you just like. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Which makes you kind of more mean. Yeah. And, and also for me, the, the breakout thing for a lot of people, that's true. There's actually a 2013 survey mm-hmm. that says women with high levels of stress, a uh, hormone cortisol. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I'm, I'm thinking that's like cortisol is the hormone. I'm, I think that's like what yeah. is that? Like some something that it, women will give off. It, it's saying the stress hormone is cortisol. I think we're perceived by heterosexual. Okay, so yeah, basically they're giving off this hormone. Yeah, they're giving yeah. off this that's unattractive, less attractive to guys. Yeah, what? No, so, no, no. Okay, so this is like the this is like a love potion. 39 kind Pheromo- of stuff. Pheromones. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying. I believe it. So I think because we are animals, yeah. creatures, we give off like unseen stuff. Oh, absolutely. That attracts or repels the, the opposite sex. Yes. And I don't mean like the obvious one where you pass some gas. No, like everybody has pheromones. There, it's a real thing. Yeah. Like you have a smell that's only special to you. Next one is looking too happy or too proud. I don't understand this. Might make you less attractive. I don't understand this. So Wait, does this mean like if you're arrogant or proud? Um, no. Well, like, I mean, you're too happy doesn't mean you're too arrogant. Too arrogant, just too arrogant. Too happy just what about seems too very proud? pleasant. Right. Too proud could be too arrogant. Too happy to me means when a when a person is too bubbly, which to yeah, me that's, that's not. That's like the Disney effect or something. But a lot of guys like that. But here's here's why they say this. In 2011, okay. researchers conducted experiments on a thousand people, yeah. basically showing them members of the opposite sex, asking them how attractive they are in photos. Uh, so <laughs> results show that men rated women more attractive when they looked happy and least attractive when they displayed when they displayed pride. Women, on the other hand, rated men more attractive when they displayed pride and less attractive when they looked happy. What? So, holy cow! Okay, so, okay. women <laughs> found men less attractive when we are happy. Right. I, I don't agree with this, but I will tell you. I think what I think this means. Like, uh-huh. let's say you take a look at a photograph, right, yeah. of a guy, and he, like, let's say your high school photograph, and he's like, that's unattractive. But then if you see a photo where he's like, like he's prideful, he's like. But I don't know, whatever. Then people are like, oh, he's attractive for guys. That's, that's what I think what it means. That's crazy. Because, but, but because is that far-fetched though? Yeah, because why, why, why can't you, why can't women be attracted to like a happy person? Because we, because society tells us that women are attracted to like men who are powerful. Powerful doesn't mean happy. Think about that, right? No, 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 but, but, but hang on a second. So, I'm so not gonna, in a relationship, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Let's say you're in a relationship, you're with your partner, okay, and then he's happy because he's with you. Then you're like, wait a minute, you're less attracted to me now. I think it's because different. you're happy. But honey, I'm happy because I'm with you. No, it's no excuse. But I think I think when you're already in a, re- I think these are more pertaining to like the 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 first attractive, the first impressions. 
Because if you're already in a or, relationship, okay, fine, fine. First date, yeah. You first come, date, come see the guy yeah. first date. He's he's like, got you flowers. He's like, yeah. I'm so happy to see you. Yeah. Like, you just turned me off. That could happen. Come on, that's man. what I'm saying. That, that's it ridiculous. It shouldn't happen, but that happens, and I don't like that. I don't well, like that. Well, let's move on to the next one. I totally agree with that. You're mm -hmm. less attractive if you don't have a sense of humor. Oh, absolutely. Obviously, absolutely. I mean, have you ever been with a person who's like good looking there? They fit all your checkpoints, but then they just don't. They just don't. You know, they're, they don't hold a good conversation. They don't. Dud. They just yeah, yeah, like like Chandler Bing talking about Janet. You remember Janice. that episode? Yeah, yeah, Janice, Rachel's boss. Yeah. Oh, oh, like, oh the yeah, yeah, not like, Janice. Oh, um, but the meal was great. The sky was blue, yeah. but I couldn't enjoy any of that because she was such a dull dud. Exactly, exactly. And I feel like this is more also. F oh well, I, I feel like for guys, this is really important. Yeah, like for a guy. You have to have a sense of humor. Because they say have this, to. women say this, right? People, women always say this, right? They're like, oh, why are you with that guy? And then, uh, <laughs> and then, and then they say, well, he's, he's got a sense of humor. I hear that all the time. <gasps> oh, oh, man, like you see a guy and a girl, you're like. But you never hear that opposite from for guys. You never be like, not. hey, hey, dude, why are you with her? Well, oh, she got a good sense of humor. You never hear that. You, you don't hear that. You don't hear that. <laughs> you, hear, you hear like, you, you know, like that's. Yo. Oh, oh, I'm man. sorry, but that's that's true, right? Yeah, I, I feel like for guys, you it's a, such a must, man. Yeah. It's such a must. So the next one. Laziness, a hundred percent. Yeah. If if you're a, if you're if you are lazy and if, if you appear lazy, I feel like this goes both ways. Um, you, they're gonna people are gonna be like, wow, that's kind of unattractive because no one wants to see somebody just. Who like, wants to be with a lazy out. person? Nobody. Who wants to be with an unmotivated, lazy slob? Unless both of you are yeah, both was, all, are lazy I and you say, kind of be lazy together. Yeah. In that case, that's fine. You be lazy together. You sit home, couch potato, but. If, you, if you're somebody who wants to do something, I'm not just saying wants to go out, but just wants to get up and do something and the other person yeah. doesn't, it's like, come on. Yo, this next one, I, I don't really understand it. So it says that you're unattractive if you smell too similar or too different. So it's kind of like opposites attract and similarities. Rip. Cannot be that. No, 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 that's personality. What, what is it? What is this? Hey, hey. Yo, yo, you're wearing <laughs> the same, same cologne? Yo, I'm not attracted to you. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Meanwhile, researchers took DNA from participants' mouths as well as their partners and brought it to the lab. Wait, wait we're not even talking, are we talking about smell or breath? Smell. What are we talking about? I mean, I, I breath breath is a part of the smell. Yo, so, I, yo this, is a, this, this one's a little too complicated for me. Well, I just don't understand it. Like, why would I, I mean, I smell, okay. I smell literally like, Bounty dry yeah. sheets. I mean, first of all, just laundry. you have so oh, many smells. So you have your personal smell, yeah. you have your body odor that's masked by your laundry shirt and and deodorant and cologne. But don't most Asians smell like burnt rice, according to you? It it actually, um, they a lot of them do, not like the older ones, but when you're a child, like I was, every day my friends would be like, bro, you, you smell like burnt rice. So don't rice. you want to date someone who smells like, also smell like burnt rice? Well, if you like that, but I actually don't <laughs> like the smell of burnt rice at all. So. All right, next one I totally get. You're less attractive if you're dishonest. Doi. Oh, definitely. I mean, it, you can be as beautiful as you are and whatever, but if you lie to people, that's your thing. That's then... kind of like a deal breaker. Yeah, it's not that's just a total less deal honest. Breaker. It's like, you can't date somebody that lies to you or tries to hide something from you, you know? Yeah. You got so. anything else you want to add to this list? Well, you, you got one? You can well, I just want to say like, you know, you're, you're less attractive if you have B.O. Oh, definitely. Oh, oh. Just, we're talking about that. Okay, if we're talking about like, I mean, there's one obvious one. If you if you have bad breath, yeah. Like if, if you if you smell bad, yeah. we're not talking about different smells. Just period. Yeah. So for me, like one one thing I always tell guys if they're asking for advice or something, make, like you don't even have to dress well. Yeah. Like I tell guys, look, it's not about the style; it's about the dress. But make sure you smell good. Not just good, but make sure you like don't your smell. breath. Brush your, your teeth. Yeah, your body. Uh, like a lot of things are just repellent off the bat. Yeah. Also, I will say if you're inconsiderate. Okay. Yep. Not mean, but just inconsiderate. Oh, definitely. That's uh, selfish. If you if you know if you notice those things right off the bat, forget the mean one. Those things are th those are like huge, huge. Yeah. I think those selfish. Are, yeah. That's really self-absorbed. That's really turn offish. Yeah. Right. Definitely. Both for both men and women. Yeah. Like really, you're dating a self-absorbed girl who doesn't care about anything but are like, hey, I got mascara goo. I gotta look at myself yeah. all the time. Like, exactly. So. All right. Well, those are some of the things that 
Science found that would make you less attractive and we added some ourselves. So yep. let us know if you agree or disagree in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye. See ya.